Mm-hmm. Great day, great day. What's going on? This is Chuck Harton, your power building entrepreneur, empowering you so you can empower everything around you. And yes, it is that time of day for the midday, midweek mind shift. Yes, yes, yes. Going to generate me a little audience here. I was actually sitting in the office. I was out visiting clients all morning. Came back this afternoon to knock out some calls. So thought I'd jump on here with you guys before I start jumping on this phone, making contacts, doing what we need to do. And I guess let me see if y'all go ahead, check in with me. Let me know your city. Let me know the city, the city and state that you're checking in from. And if you're catching a replay, just type in replay. Still put the city and state. We'll know where we, get, where we get a chance to connect with people all over the country. And I'm in my office now. Let me step outside. The light is a little better. Let's see if we can step outside and have a good conversation. I got a great conversation for y'all today. This is a great one. Let me ask you guys a question. How is your year starting off? Huh? How is your year going? Right? Let's see if we can set this right here. How does this look? You guys see me okay? Hold on. Do it like this. Do it like this. Bam! All right, if you guys can hear me, see me, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know. Let me know again. Check in. Give me your city and your state so we can have a great conversation. But my question is, I'm asking you a question. Go ahead, type it in. How is your year starting off? Right? We're in 2020. We are in 2020, and we're at the end of January. This is the first, um, it's the last Wednesday in January. So go ahead, check in. Let me know. How is your year starting off? How's your year going? Now, as soon as I said that, I know some people th are thinking, man, it's going, it's kind of tight, Mr. Harden. It's not doing what I thought it would be doing. I know some people say, well, it's going great, Mr. Harden. It's, it's going awesome. You know, everything I wanted to do, we're making it happen. You know, so I know we're getting some mixed emotions, mixed thought processes when it comes to that. Because I know we all said in 2020, this is going to be my year. In 2020, not only is it a new year, it's a new decade. I'm going all in. I know that's what you're thinking. I know that's what you're saying to yourself. And some people have come to the realization that in order for that to happen, we can't just talk about it. We can't just talk about it in order to create that success that we want out of life. In whatever part of your life you want it in, you can't just talk about it. No. We're going to have to do some different things. It's time to really work and be about it. If you want something different, you know, you got to do a few things different. So we are excited to give you guys the secret on what that's going to take. It's a secret, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm going to let it out. I'm going to tell everybody what it is. I'm, I'm going to give you the greatest secret of, of all because a lot of people think they can just say it. No. It's a very simple, simple word. A very simple, simple thing that you have to do to create that success in whatever part of life you want to create it. Whatever it is, whether it's losing weight, whether it's making money, whether it's starting a business, whether it's getting more sales, whatever it is, whether it's better relationships, whatever it is, it's one simple word. Just one. Give you a second, get a pen so you can write it down. Hopefully you're ready for it. Hopefully you're ready. Here it comes. It's a word called consistency. That's it. Consistency. Consistency. You have to be consistent. It's the key. It's the greatest secret that any person of success will tell you that must be done in order for it to work for you. It is consistency. Whatever it is, you're trying to lose weight. It doesn't happen overnight. You have to consistently control what you're eating. You have to consistently control your activity and being busy and being active. You have to consistently do that. If you want to start and build a business, it's all about consistency. And this is the great thing about consistency. Mr. Zig Ziglar, he's my mentor from afar, great, passed away a few years back. I was blessed to attend a training that he did. I paid a lot of money to get there. I paid a lot of money to be in the room. But I remember this training like it was yesterday. Because on the stage with him, he had a water pump on the stage. And every time that he talked about consistency, he'd be pumping that water pump. It's an old school water pump. It was a well, as a matter of fact. You know, my dad is from Quincy, Florida, so I know a little about these whales. And he took us back to his hometown. You know, we were very, very young. He said in their house, they didn't have running water. They had a well. And at the well, you had a pump, right? And you had to just hit that pump consistently. Stay on that pump consistently, right? And this is the thing about the pump and the well. Because you would not get water quickly. No. 
It didn't work very quickly. You had to consistently continue to pound on that whale, consistently hold on to that level and hit that pump in order for the water to even stop. And if you took a break, if you stopped just for a second, all the water would drain back down to the bottom and you got to start all the way over. Life in your business works the exact same way. If you're building a business, if you're um, trying to build momentum in whatever you're doing, it works the exact same way. Your effort will compound based on what you did. A lot of people want to wait till, I'm going to wait till Saturday and just go all in on Saturday to go ahead and, and build my business. Or I'm going to wait till Saturday to make all my calls. They want to do everything on one day and expect to get the results. It doesn't work that way. 30 minutes every day is better than eight hours on a Saturday. If you're working out, 30 minutes every day is more effective than doing five hours on a Saturday or a Sunday. It is consistent. So just like you pumping that well, when you stop, the water falls back down. This exact same thing happens when you're building your business, when you're making calls, whatever you're doing, and trying to create success. The stop and start is what's killing you. The one day on, one day off is what's killing you. The two days on, one day off, three days on, one day off. And what you tell yourself is, man, I deserve a day off. I've been doing my... Man, it's four days straight. I deserve a day off. Success doesn't care how you feel. Your goals don't care how you feel. Your, the grind does not care how you feel. It only cares about what you do. And what you have to do is to consistently give it effort. Consistently give it energy. So when you're pumping that well, you got to keep pumping. And this is the thing about the well and to keep pumping. Because eventually, eventually, you have a little something come out. My dad would tell me a little, a little water would come out, but that's just a little, a little splat. And what some people do is when they have a little success, they stop pumping. They're like, whoa, it's going good. And they stop pumping that day. Or they have success and they say, I just stopped for the day. You know, they have success. Like, well, I did, I did real good yesterday. I'm going to worry about today. And again, it's the stop and start that's killing you. You got to consistently pump that well. You got to consistently keep giving it energy. You have to consistently keep giving it effort. Right. And once that happens, this is the great thing about the well. Once it happens, guess what? The water will start to flow out of the well. It'll start to flow. And even when the water starts to flow, you can't stop pumping. <laughs> That's what he messed up. Once the water starts to flow, you can't stop pumping. Understand, success is not a destination. It's a journey and it continues to move. It's, ever, it's so elusive. It continues to move. And as soon as you feel like you are successful and you stop, so does the success. So you got to keep pumping that well even when the water starts to flow. Now, this is a good thing. Once the water starts to flow, you don't have to pump as hard. Once the water starts to flow, you don't have to, you know, continue to go. It's, it's more of a, you know, just sustaining the effort. Not continuing to push it. It's sustaining the effort once the water starts to flow. So what we have to do first off at the beginning of the year, we got to pump. <laughs> we got to get that thing moving. We got to keep it going and we got to push harder. So when I'm asking you, how's your year going? I'm not asking you about your results. I'm asking you about your consistency. Are you consistently giving it effort? I don't care if you got results yet. I don't care if you won yet. I don't care if you closed the big deal yet. Are you consistently giving it effort? That's what's important because that's the, that's the, mode that you're going to set for the rest of your year. So consistently give it effort. Consistently give it energy. Don't complain about it right now if you're not seeing the results that you're looking for. You can't plant the seed and bear the fruit the same week. You can't plant the seed and bear the fruit the same month. You got to plant the seed and water the seed with the consistency of continuing to pump. All right. I'm going to give you another analogy, just like an airplane. Do you guys understand when an airplane is taking off, just leaving the runway, it uses about 60% of the fuel just to get off the ground, just to get the momentum, to get the turbulence and everything to, to fight through the gravity. It uses 60% of the fuel just to get off the ground. Then while it's up in the air, it only uses about 20%. <sighs> Okay, so what we have to do, once you get off the air, it uses about 20% to navigate to where it's going. Only about 20%. And then it lands with 20% of the fuel still in the tank. 
So again, we're at the beginning of the year. We're taking off. So you have to take off and use all your energy, all your effort to get off the ground. Once you get off the ground, now we're going to cruise, but we're going to consistently give it effort. We're never going to stop pumping. And then we're going to land with about 80% of the fuel still left in the and still left in the tank, right? So it's two analogies for you right there. Bam, got two in on the same broadcast. Look at that. <laughs> All right, you guys. So that's my conversation for today. Ask yourself, how is your year going? Not based on the results, but based on your consistency of giving effort. Because that's what counts. Only thing that matters is the grind. And you can never cheat the grind. You can never cheat the grind. It knows. And the grind is not what people see. The grind is what you're doing when no one else is around. The grind is what you're doing when no one else knows. You never get celebrated for the grind. You get celebrated for the results. But the grind is necessary to get to the results. You guys, this is Chuck Hart, your power builder entrepreneur, empowering you so you can empower everything around you. If you like this conversation, go ahead and share it with people. Comment, like, and share. Because we're going to do things different in 2020. All right, talk to y'all later. Peace up. Hey, town down. <laughs> he too.